Hello, this is Brian Chin, and on this presentation, I'll be talking about breeding for solid green tailed guppies. So let's first understand the chromatophores or the color cells that are involved in making the green color in the guppy fins. First, there are melanophores that are involved, and it's, this is the black pigment. And the color on the green guppy usually is not black, but more of a gray, even coating of black color. And then above that, and intermingled, are iridophores that give you that iridescence, that shine. And iridophores are actually color cells that have crystals. And in the green guppy, most of the iridophores in their cells are blue, and they reflect blue color. But there's also metal gold that can be also with the guppy that reflects yellow color. Then there are xanthophores that are yellow pigments. So you have the melanophores, the background, iridophores, and then on top of those you have the yellow pigments. So let's understand how the green color is modified, you know, the different shades of green that can happen. Now, as I mentioned before, you need black and you need a nice even coating of gray in the background there because what that does, that gives that perception of a solid green tail. Now, if you have too much black, that can cause the blue and the yellow to be obscured. So too much black is there, the fish can turn almost too dark. And most of the time, with too much black, the yellow is obscured more, and it appears to be more blue. Now, the green color that comes back that your eye perceives depends on the angle of the light that's reflected that strikes the guppy and then is reflected back to you. So the light has to go through the yellow chromatophores and then through the iridophores and then reflect it back to you. So if the light's only on top, more than likely the fish looks more blue. So the angle should come in like at a 45 degree angle into the guppy or straight into the guppy so you can see the green color reflect it back to you. Now in choosing males, I look for this. First, a good smooth color in the tail. You can see both of these have it. And in the dorsals also. And this little white that you see on the angle, on the edge here, that's okay. That's usually just the growth part, and as the fish grows, the tail grows out and ages, it evens out. These both have fairly good body shapes, and as I have mentioned before in other presentations, I like this nice deep body and thick peduncle. And these both have fairly good fin shape. Now, here's some examples of a male that I wouldn't use. And as you can tell here, it's possibly because of too much black in the tail that the fish appears more blue. And also, as you can see here, his dorsal is striped. Now the second male, his tail here, you can see it's what they call patchy. It's light and dark shades of green. But you may want to give this fish a chance because in some strains, as they age, the black background evens out. And then the fish appears to be more of a solid green color. Now in choosing females, you can see both of these have fairly good even gray shades throughout the tail. I like that. And that helps you to produce more of a solid green tail in your line of guppies. 
and both have iridescence in the dorsal as well as in the tail here. And that it's necessary to have some green iridescence if you can in the female's dorsal because that helps give you a nice green color in her sons. Now the first female, you know, the tail shape could be a little straighter, but it's acceptable. Where this female here has a better shape tail and the angle is nice here. And both have good body shape, good deep chest, nice thick peduncles. And some additional information on greens that I must say from my experience that greens are pretty difficult to maintain their quality. So I suggest that you maintain three to five lines of greens. You know, one green, one line could be more emphasis on size, but maintain some fairly good shape and color. And then another line that is more concentrated on having good color and good shape. And then other lines you can have maybe different shades of greens. And also for me, what I do in some, I'll have, you know, two lines of green Moscow's that I can also cross back and forth. And of course, the green Moscow's are created by having a male with the, the Moscow trait with the even uh, iridescence across the body. And then it's bred usually to a green female. And then bred from there to get the green color that you like. And I hope to, in the future, to create a presentation just on Moscow's. If you're interested in getting more information on breeding show guppies, I have a book on it that talks about how to maintain good water conditions for raising guppies and breeding techniques, problem solvings, and some of the breeding projects that I've gone through. And these are sold on Amazon. I also have a book on genetics for guppies and I start from giving you the definition of genetic terms and how to use genetics in your breeding program. Also sold by Amazon. If you like, you can visit my website. I have information on my books, a lot of guppy show photos, and informative articles. And if you can, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updates on new presentations that I will be uploading. And thank you for listening to my presentation.